Slow but steady progress was the result after one week of fighting in the Solomon Island area of operations, according to Allied commanders. While not as productive as they had hoped, as the Japanese still controlled Guadalcanal, air and naval forces did manage to interdict several enemy convoys and sink a significant amount of merchant tonnage. However, still looming near the edge of carrier strike distance were two large and powerful Japanese fleets that included two aircraft carriers and one battleship, prowling the waters somewhere northeast of Malaita Island. Finding them was the U.S. Navy's highest priority in the days ahead. Hello, welcome back to War on the Sea and Day 8 of Operation Watchtower and what appears to be a uh, developing into a longer campaign. So I read, uh, I went back and read some of the rules for this mod and generally for the game and I discovered that for this mod they changed some of the air bases, which I wasn't aware of because I didn't read it that closely. But you see how this is mixed? Guadalcanal doesn't have one. This has sea float planes. Well, some air bases uh, are permanently that type of plane. I think Rental Island is one of those. It only does float planes, which is disappointing, which means I can't put bombers and, and, and fighters here, I don't think. I think it's just going to be float planes. So that kind of changes things a little bit. Fortunately, Guadalcanal is still just a level one. I don't know how many troops are here, but uh, there are several things that I do want to do coming up. Um, I do want eventually in the, in the not long term, but kind of short term, mid term, I want to create a port here at Rental Island level three port. That'd be nice to have. That way I can, I don't have to run my, my, my fighting ships, my cruisers and Task Force 1 basically back to New Hebrides to rearm. So it'd be nice to have at level 3 port here. That's going to happen eventually. I'm also going to, uh, because I need uh, Malaita anyway, I'm thinking about landing there very soon. It's a mixed airfield, so I can't have bombers and fighters there. Probably, maybe at the same time I do Guadalcanal, I don't know. But again, the buildup will continue on Rental Island. I, I, need, I just need more... I need more transports is what I need. And I think if had I were I to do this campaign over, since it does favor, if you look at the rules, you get a lot of command points per week, per friendly location, per port rank, per airfield rank. It's basically dependent on, on you get a little bit for, for sinking enemy um, ships, but you get a lot more for your ports and airfields and what rank they are. So need to concentrate on that, building up ports and airfields. The Japanese, they have a lot. They have like twice as many ports and airfields than I, as I do. Fortunately, fortunately, uh, they have ship losses and I don't. I looked at this. This adds up to about 100 command points, probably, of ship losses. So that helps. That's 100 command points of ships they have to replace that I don't. Uh, and I think they have more, they have probably get twice as many command, command points as I do. So I need to concentrate on getting these built up. And this one's open, so I might as well go ahead and take it. So, and that's a lot to do with not very many transports. So, and I still need to build this up. I need to build up the airfield here. A lot to do. Um, but Task Force 1 here, uh, they will be operating I, just like... Chester Nimitz wanted his fleet commanders to do uh, right before Midway, and that is operate under the principle of calculated risk, which I'm sure most people watching this know what that is. It's basically, I'm, I, sh I, I will not allow the enemy to, f to engage my task force, a superior force of the enemy to engage my task force without me having good odds of inflicting greater damage upon them. So it's basically waiting for the right opportunities. That's what we're going to be doing 
Um, I, I think I'm going to have them hang out here. It looks like the Japanese have left this area. I don't even know if they were really going for Santa Cruz. Well, and we probably never will know. But I'm going to have them hang out here. And I might detach the carriers. The carrier. I wish I had carriers. Carrier and the two uh, destroyers to sit here and then run the others at night up here. Maybe and try and intercept the Japanese. We'll see. I do have... A bunch of uh, float, uh, search planes out. These, this is the search patterns for these. I have a, a Kitty Hawk here, P40, just going to be going in this area. Catalinas, basically, again the same, pretty much the same search areas as before. Up here, uh, we have a couple of float planes here. Kingfishers, they'll be patrolling this near area here. Sunderlands, one on this side, south of the Solomons, one up the slot, one north, and then we have these mariners out in this area of the Pacific. So I think we're pretty well covered, and we're going to let this run and see how this goes. We have a float plane up here. It's trying to get away. It's spotted, probably spotted Task Force 1. Let's launch. I haven't launched. I haven't seen Wildcats yet, so let's launch some aircraft. Uh, two Wildcats. Probably be enough. Go hunt this thing down, chase it down, and kill it. Okay, they disappeared right here. Let's go tactical and see if we can find them. Nice aircraft. Nice looking models. There it is. Oh, it's a ship. There's a sub here. Let's see if we can attack it. With their... Machine guns, I don't know. Maybe I should go get some... Planes with... With some depth charges. Oh my. We got a hit. Nice. Let's take a look at the report and see what we did. Mm -hmm. Heavy damage. No flooding, though. Well, I think that... Uh, that sub is probably going to have to go home now. Good work. Still didn't find that aircraft, but that's fine. Maybe we can... We do have 354 nautical miles of endurance, so let's continue and see if we could find that plane. That float plane was around here somewhere. Okay, a couple of things here. Found their carrier again, but it's still probably too far out and a little too dangerous. I could... How far is this? 500, almost 600 nautical miles. Well, I could try and get the forts up and maybe get them over there. See if I can hit it from high altitude, but they have a lot of zeros there. I think I'm probably not going to do that. It's a little too far out anyway. And I don't think... Which way are they going? They're coming in my direction. Hmm... Alright, we're on top of them again. Let's see if we can find that float plane. Should be here, somewhere. Okay. This one didn't go attack. Easily done. I'm going to send... I think I'm going to send my B-17s anyway. What if I get lucky and hit it? Let's send all of them with a bunch of bombs. 12 500-pound SAP bombs each. Let's do 4,000-pound SAP bombs each. Done. And let's get them over here. Who knows? We might get lucky. Lucky. 
Wasp is ready to launch aircraft, and you know what? It just occurred to me. Uh, they're pretty close. 242 nautical miles. I'm sure my aircraft can reach. Let's see what the range... Oh, yeah. 200, 400. I'm going to send everything. If I can. Let's see. Which one has the most endurance? Looks like the Dauntlesses. Let's get them in the air first. Okay, 30 Dauntlesses. And how much longer to launch aircraft from the Wasp? 0.1 hours. So they'll loiter here for a little bit until we can get everything up. Okay, everything's up. I'm going to make my way over. Let's get the Dauntlesses headed over here. Probably the carrier is moving in this direction, so we'll put them right about here. Avengers. And Wildcats. And I'll be watching this. I know the Wildcats are a little faster, so... I have to be careful. I could have them... I think the Avengers are the slowest. Let's have the Wildcats... Well, let's have them escort the Dauntlesses. Okay, we have a new target here. Let's go see what this is. It says it's three ships. It's probably three destroyers again. And they're headed west. Let's see what this is. One, two, three. Yeah, three destroyers again. All right, we'll retreat. See if we can put together a strike package for them. This was over here. So we'll have them stay. They were headed west, so we'll do this. See if we can keep track of them. And how far is this from Port Moresby? 248, 250 nautical miles. What do we got? Mitchells? Hmm. We'll send them up. We'll give them a bunch of different bombs, like 12 250-pound bombs. Now let's give them the armor-piercing bombs. And we will vector them around this airfield. And we'll get lightnings up as well. Okay, this is it. We're coming up on the aircraft carrier with everything from Wasp. Here are the Wildcats, the Dauntlesses, and the Avengers. And I still have this flight, the Mitchells, headed towards this task force. Like so. Let's see how this shakes out here. This is going to be really interesting. There's the carrier, finally. I had lost it for a sec. Let's go tactical with the Wildcats, I guess. And let's see what this is. I'm going to pause just so I can get my bearings and see what the heck's what. And, ooh, there they are right there. Is that the big fly? Oh, that's the big, that's the Shokaku. Holy shit. Okay, let's wait until we get it identified. How do they get to start shooting? right now. Can we... 
Well, they must be shooting at a Sunderland or something. There, finally. Okay. That's the flat top. Let's have everybody go in. Avengers. It's going to take a while. Target one. That flight. Target one. Okay, they've all got their target assignments. They're all targeting the carrier. And we're going to tell them to attack. At least the Dauntlesses attack right now. The Avengers. We'll have them hold off until the Dauntlesses get close. This is going to be wild. Okay. We'll go ahead and have them attack too. They're too close not to. Okay. They're on dogfight at will, so hopefully they will. We've lost one aircraft. Let's get those wildcats over there. I want to watch this from the carrier. We got wave after wave of... Dauntlesses and torpedo bombers coming in. Okay, we got some starting to dive. There's our torpedoes in the water. Hit on, hit on the Shokaku. Another hit on the Shokaku. Oh, okay. oh, planes landing in the middle of the deck. Dud bomb. Another hit on the Shikaku. Another door dead torpedo. Another hit. Another hit. She's sinking, holy shit. The Shokaku is going down. Oh. Okay. Um, I think we'll try and get the hell out of here. Before I lose any more aircraft. Wow. All right, I think I've heard enough. Let's get out of here. We've lost 25 aircraft, but they've lost the Shikaku. Wow. I will trade 25 aircraft any day. Dauntless, let's RTB. Avengers, RTB. Wildcats, RTB. Holy shit. That was awesome. I'm going to have to send the wasp back to... I'm going to lose the wasp for, for about three days, but that's fine. Yeah, the Mitchells, I need to get them back over here. See if I can hit those. D destroyers. All right, B-25 Mitchells are ready. I have the lightnings here, too. 
They have 308 nautical miles of... I can always use them too, so... Let's get the Mitchells. Tactical. Start. And... Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Get them in line. Line ahead. And then I think we'll target the middle one again. Okay, bombs away. Let's see if we can hit anything here. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not quite. I'm assuming they... All the Mitchells Ooh. dropped. We lost one. Wow, they shot it from pretty far away. Okay. We'll retreat. I don't think I'll bring the lightnings in to help. Yeah. We'll have them RTB and the lightnings RTB. Alright, aircraft are starting to return to the Wasp. We have 24 Wildcats. 13 Avengers and 7 Avengers. So we probably lost about half of our bomber force, but again, well worth it. So my B-17s have arrived up here. I'm, I'm searching for the rest of that task force because I would love to hit something else in that task force. That one, I don't think I, that one's the one that had the battleship, but... There were a few heavy cruisers there. The Task Force 1 is going to start moving back, at least here, to detach the carrier and send it back to New Hebrides. We've recovered all the aircraft. Um, it doesn't look like, well, it's, it's 13, it's 1 o'clock. I might be able to hit the slot, go up here tonight. I don't know. I don't know if I want to bring, I, do I, I don't, you know what? I don't really need, I don't really need the destroyers. Why don't we do this? And detach. These are the destroyers. Yes, they should be. And we'll detach them. Split group. And now we have the wasp with a couple of destroyers. And we'll send it back this way. And Task Force 1 will stay here. And I'm going to have them move up to Savo Island area later tonight. Okay, another encounter here. I believe this is the, the three destroyers. We'll take a quick look. Yeah, that's probably them. Problem is, I just don't have enough aircraft at Port Moresby. I used them all yesterday in the previous... Well, we got Air Cobras. We got three Lightnings. They're starting to be replaced. Air Cobras... Uh, where was that again? Let's see. I don't know if they're going to reach... 136, 185, 199. 208. Mmm. I don't know. I think I might wait and see if they get a little closer. I can't seem to find the remainder of that fleet up here because there's some weather in this in this grid area. I just can't find them. There's a uh, float plane here, but I can't go after it because the Wasp cannot launch aircraft for another five hours. So we'll just continue with what we're doing. Hopefully we can find this fleet up here. B-17s are just sitting here waiting, and I'm running out of endurance. Fortresses are on the way back. I could not find... A task force just disappeared. The carrier sank, and they just... I guess they just... left. They just 
got the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. All right, air operations have ceased. Uh, the Task Force 19, which consists of the Wasp and two destroyers, is headed back to New Hebrides. I'm thinking about releasing the carrier right now, just letting it go by back by itself, but that may be a bit dangerous. These three task forces are still on their way back to New Hebrides. All the planes are coming back. Task Force 1 is moving up here near Savo Island. We're going to just park here and just kind of make our way around here, see if we can intercept any Japanese uh, transports. Let's look at Guadalcanal. Still level 1 airfield. I don't know what the Japanese are doing, honestly. I mean, I, I would have that at least level 2 by now. Okay, we're just going to sit and wait and see what happens. Okay, it is now 2200 hours. Task Force 1 is making its way to Savo Island area. And we're going to sit there for a little bit. Task Force 5 is almost back to Cooktown. And Task Force 19, I think we're going to go ahead and... This is probably safe enough, so let's go ahead and... Uh, detach the wasp and have the wasp go ahead and head back it's dark it won't be subject to air attack it'll be back before morning and the other two task force seven we will probably have them come back to rental island area and we'll just kind of sit here and wait and see if anything happens up here in the southern tip of the slot. Okay, 5 a.m. on day 9, I've already launched all the aircraft. Basically the same patterns as before. Kingfishers are going to patrol in here. I got Task Force 1 on the way back. Sunderlands, same, same. Catalinas, same through here. And the Sunderlands, same. Uh, in this area so and then let's see Port Moresby we're recovering we got some of our we got one Beaufort back one Mitchell I don't remember how many lightnings we have but we have some of them back and I think that's really all we were missing so I'm gonna run this a little bit for this day and see if we could find anything out there okay nothing so far and we're at what is it, 6.30 in the morning? Uh, Wasp has finally made it back to New Hebrides. So I think what we do here is we release repair the Wasp to... Let's see how many aircraft it's got. Yeah, it's missing quite a few Avengers and Dauntlesses. So let's release repair. Got to select it first, I guess. Confirm. Released from command. And we shall get the... We'll get their points back in about three days, I believe. And then we can probably... You know, I was thinking about buying another... Like the Lexington. But I have 11 command points. And I could get another transport. I was thinking... When these are coming back, why don't we get one just for troops? I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's what I was looking at. The uh, Acturus? Not that one. It was... Which one was it? It was... Here we go. The Macaulay class carries a bunch of troops. So there's the Macaulay. It's a troop carrier. This one carries supplies. This one's kind of a mix. So is this one... The C2, I have some C3s, which, I, which are good all around merchant vessels. But I'm thinking just to carry, I could use, I could free up, I have 11 command points, I can get this one and free up all the others just for, just for uh, parts and, and supplies. So, and I need another one pretty bad. Um... So, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Okay. 
Okay, we have the Macaulay here ready. I think we'll just go ahead and... It's since... It carries mostly troops. Let's go ahead and... Um, manage cargo. And we're going to put... 2,100 troops on there. And get it headed back to... Rental Island. And then, of course, these task force... They're going to fill up on supply and parts and then of course oil and then once they get to rental island then we're going to decide which one of these we're going to go after but for now we'll get this one headed to rental with the troops it's going to be 20, 32 hours so a day and a half ish something like that and I still haven't found anything yet on this day. I think what we're going to do, though, I think uh, we've spent enough time on this episode. We're going to leave it here when we come back. Obviously, we're going to load up again these transports to get them over to here to Rental Island. Task Force 1 will stay on patrol here. We have to merge it with Task Force 7. For now, I mean, we got three days, so we might as well put those back together and maybe... Uh, we can get some more uh, destroyers or transports in the meantime. We'll see. We need to sink some more ships. We're out there looking for them. We'll see if we can find some more. Thanks for joining me on this episode. Hope to see you again next time.